whiskey lovers. Okay, um, surprise video. Okay, so as I introduced you through the last two weeks to our new pet, Moopsie, who was an early Christmas present for the family, early Christmases seem to be a bit of a theme this year. Um, a month ago, Mel had an accident with her phone, so I had to buy her a new one that was gonna be her Christmas present. Well, after I made yesterday's video, Mel came home and surprised me with my Christmas gift. Mel has assembled herself a whiskey a bed calibre for me. And now, like I said, everyone knows Christmas is not my thing, but whiskey is. So thank you, Mel. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, instead of buying one pre-made, she's actually taking the time to select all sample bottles. Um, she's bagged them up already numbered them so I'm going in blind um, she said she was just two bottles short but she's gonna fix that up over the coming weeks so so this is how this is gonna work so obviously since yesterday I have to try yesterday's and today's whiskies throughout the week every day I will make film myself tasting the whiskies and then at the end of the week possibly probably Thursdays I will stitch them into a compilation and that'll be that week's video. Now, this week should also be delivery week. So Friday's video will hopefully, if delivery is on time, be uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday's um, Advent whiskies, And then possibly Thursdays and the whiskey of the month, <clears throat> which I'm actually really looking forward to. It's a Westwood, um, in a musket um, cask finish. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, so well, let's get on with it. So I've got number one here and I've got a little I love you on it. So thank you again, Mel. So let's see what day one's whiskey is. Oh, she's glued them and not taped them. Wow. Okay, and we're starting with a uh, Teeling Whiskey. Um, single malt from Ireland. So we've got an Irish whiskey here. So, um, single malt. So, yeah. So if it's a single malt from Ireland, it means it don't have any corn mash in it. Uh, but for sure, so Spirit of Dublin. It looks like it was established in 1782. I'm using my phone for this, so I can't actually cheat and look up anything about the um, whiskey itself. 46% uh, alcoholic volume. Okay, we have a nice pale gold color. Mm, nice syrupy um, aroma to it. Barley. Bit of citrus. Hints of vanilla. Nice and smooth, um, a little sweet. Oh, a nice peppery aftertaste has just hit me. Um, Definitely hints of barley, a bit of oak. Um, yeah, a bit of citrus, some vanilla. Maybe some honey, although that could be attributed to the um, to the syrupy um, sort of thing. Mm. Wonderful. Okay, let's see if we can find number two. Here we go. Merry Xmas, number two. Um, okay, um, it's another teeling whiskey, but this one, well, this is the one I just tasted, is a single mole. 
age and matured. This is a small batch. Uh, finished six months in rum cask. So this is actually going to be a great chance to actually compare these two. So, okay. Um, being a rum cask, I'm expecting um, slight, probably slightly more Caribbean flavours, uh, a bit more of a sweetness. So two Irish whiskies from the same company. Let's see how they compare. Okay, so nice golden colour, pale gold. A little darker than the um, single malt. That would be the rum influence. Mm, even the aroma is a bit different. Um, this is a slightly more stronger oak sort of smell to it, so I imagine that's probably from the rum stripping its flavours from its original casks and then imbuing that into... Oh, yeah, stripping the rum, the rum from the um, cask was in, imbuing it into this whiskey here. It's a nutmeg. Citrus and vanilla. Mm. Okay, let's give it a go. Sweeter. I'm not getting the peppery aftertaste as I did with the um, single malt. Um, citrus, yes, it got the citrus. It's not as syrupy, so it's less of a honey sort of flavour. There are hints of vanilla, there's definitely still some taste of the oak, um, but it has overall a much, much sweeter, even though it's less syrupy. I hope that makes kind of sense. Um, mm -hmm. uh, these are two really great whiskies. You have wonderful choice smell. Um, yep, so from the same company, the little differences in the casks makes all the difference in the taste. So, all right, so this will wrap up um, this one-off Saturday's edition of Let's Talk Whiskey. And as I've said, each day now I will be um, probably up here for the clips and maybe framing or when I do the taste of the whiskey of the month will be hopefully in the unit with the um, green screen. Um, I just like playing around with it. I'm, I'm trying to improve my lighting and my editing ability without really going into it because I haven't got time. But yeah. Um, these are great. I'm loving this. Thank you, Mel. This is going to be great. Um, yeah, so until um, next week, until Friday, sometime. <laughs>